so it is the next night um me and lincoln are actually the only ones here everybody else went out on the lake today lincoln actually went um with them but a few people came back to leave and they brought lincoln back so but i'm about to take another test i took one i'll, I'll show you in a second i don't know why i'm out of breath <laughs> the door doesn't have to be closed baby i need to hear them because the door's locked So I did um, take one this morning and um, it either looks the exact same as last night or slightly darker. I'm not really sure. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on the camera. Is my lens dirty? Yeah, I think you can see it. Yeah. So, I'm really hoping for this one to be like more positive and not just faint, which I mean, me and my husband both see those lines, so. But I'm just still kind of like nervous about them not progressing and not getting darker, so. Hey, let's not, let's not play with that. Playing with the toilet brush. <laughs> Come on. That's not a toy. Gross. Shoo-wee. Shoo-wee. That's gross. Here. This. So I can already see the line coming up. Yeah. Okay. That makes me so happy because you know you're always so nervous like staring at it like is it going to show up. I already see the line coming up so. What? Yeah. So I'm trying to decide I have um, a clear blue digital and then I bought one of those um, first response packs where it's got the three ways to test the early response, the rapid result and the um, digital. I really don't want to waste my digital, so I'm just trying to figure out when I want to take it. Um, last time I had a faint positive on five days post transfer, and I took the digital, and it said yes. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not yet. So right, I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit, and I'll come back. Okay, so. It's definitely there and it's definitely darker than the other two tests. It's still faint positive. I think I'm just going to um, wait till probably to, at least tomorrow to do the um, digital just because I don't want to waste it and doing it too early. Um, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see these. Can you see these? I don't know if I'm let me, let me clean. Let me clean. Um, the lighting in here is terrible. I'm, uh, actually, no one's here, so I'm gonna take you into the kitchen. Hold on. What are you doing, Lincoln? Yeah, so you can definitely see it there. It's there, it's still faint, but it's definitely darker than this morning. That's last night this morning and then just now so there you go now you can kind of see it it's just so dark in here i wish we were at home for this because our lighting is so much better but whatever uh we're going home tomorrow so yeah we're going home tomorrow so i might do wait and do like um the digital test tomorrow night so i'll probably take one in the morning like i did this morning i probably won't film it just because it's so early in the morning, I don't know what time I'll wake up. Like, I've been waking up at like 5 to go use the bathroom. So, I probably won't film the morning one because it may not even look that much different than 
tonight. But when we get home, get everything unpacked, we'll take one tomorrow night and I'll film that one and hopefully be able to take a digital. Okay, so it is the next day and we are back home and I am six days past transfer. Um, I took a test this morning while we were still in Heber. Hey baby, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? And it's definitely darker, um, even than even from just last night. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. It's still like in the category, I'd say, of faint positive. Um, but each one is getting darker, so that gives me hope. So let's see what this one looks like. And there's probably some people watching this thinking this is like overkill. Um, this is actually pretty common for when people do IVF to do this mini test. I don't know necessarily starting this as early as I did. I'm not really sure. Dad. What? But I know it's pretty common to like it, once you get a positive to like keep taking them um, just to make sure they're getting darker. For me personally, I had a chemical pregnancy with my first transfer before Lincoln. And I just always have that in the back of my mind. Um, so with Lincoln's, I loved watching it get darker. It just gave me so much peace and so much reassurance before the beta. Um, I'm not one that can just wait out for the beta. I don't want someone telling me over the phone whether I'm pregnant or not. Um, I just kind of want to know beforehand. Um, so with the first one, um, I was prepared. Like I knew going into beta that it wasn't good. So, and then going into Lincoln's, even though I was still nervous for the beta, I still felt better knowing I had those, you know, good tests. Um, so, I still haven't decided. I have, let's see. I have the first response digital and I have the clear blue digital. I really want to take a digital. I just want to see it say pregnant or I think this one says yes. Um, I know like obviously seeing positive lines should be enough, but I really want to see it. Um, I'm just like nervous to use this one because this is the one that says pregnant. I don't want to waste it and I don't really want to go buy another one. Um, I'm just kind of nervous to use it too early. So I may do the first response digital tonight. We'll see. What are you doing? You wanna come say hey? Come here. Look. Look up here. <laughs> oh, you giving him a kiss? That was so sweet. Hold on now, I gotta clean it off. Hold on. Give him a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mwah. That's so sweet, baby. Okay, let me put it back. Let me put it back. Okay, so the line's there. It's been there. Um, I pulled, okay, so this was this morning. Oh, come on. There we go. That was this morning. So like I said, it's still faint, but definitely darker than the others. And then this is now. So I think it may actually be a little darker tonight. Um, still faint, <laughs> but it is only six days and it is, it's getting darker. So that's really all I care about. So do I want I'm like scared, I don't know. I'm scared to take the digital and it just, I don't even know how long to do it for. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's five seconds. Let's just do it. If it, if it says no, obviously I'm pregnant. 
the line is there, I'm pregnant. So it might just be too early. I'm not gonna let it get me down or anything. I'll use this one first and then maybe do the clear blue one tomorrow. No. Maybe. So today is Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> I was like trying to figure it out because there was a clock on it. I, I don't know if I've ever used a first response digital. I was like, is that already supposed to be there? Is it supposed to be doing something? So it is supposed to be there when you use it. And then about 30 seconds later, it should start blinking. And this is definitely darker than this morning. So that makes me feel really good. So. It is blinking. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, today is Tuesday. Um, and my beta is Friday. And I'm in a bunch of groups. And I'm actually in just a, like a chat on Instagram of people who just kind of had transfer days to get like close together. And their betas are like 12 days past. And mine's nine. So, uh, I guess it just depends on the clinic and the doctor and all that so let's wait and see what this is I will um, show you real quick what what these look like next to each other so that's this morning and then now like these lights up here are so bright that it's hard even though the lighting's good it's like it glares so bad so yeah, you can see both of them, but I, I definitely think that this one is darker. So let's see what this is. Oh my gosh, how long does this take? This is like the slowest three minutes ever. Okay, it's gonna be backwards anyway, so let me just turn it. You guys! Oh my gosh! Yes! Okay, obviously I already knew that, but I don't know, there's just something about like seeing that that just makes it more official. It still almost like doesn't even feel real. Like, I don't know, I think I saw something <laughs> today and I'll just pull it up. I, I wanted to share it but at the same time I didn't because we're obviously not going to tell people right away that we're pregnant. Like I'm not going to tell them right now I'm pregnant. There are people um, that I follow on Instagram that have been like posting their daily pregnancy tests and that's fine. Um, I'm not going to do that just because I have so many personal people following me and that's just not how I want to like announce not even to my parents because we're open to everybody not just secretively on Instagram where nobody can find me or you know we're very open obviously here on YouTube on Instagram on Facebook even with um Lincoln and the one before that like I wasn't filming or anything but I was very open about all of it so everyone knows we're doing it um and people follow me on Instagram and probably even watch this. So, um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I saw this, but I didn't share it. Okay, so it says, most people, it's positive, baby coming plus or minus 40 weeks. But us, it's positive. We'll see what happens. Try not to get too attached. Um, that definitely explains it. So I'm like so happy and so excited to see these positive lines, but I have to like remind myself no matter what in this moment, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I 
I'm pregnant. <laughs> there is a baby inside of me. And I just went from this place of, I'm not sure if I will ever be a mom. Ever. To taking a pregnancy test with my toddler on the floor next to me. Um, I just feel so incredibly blessed. Um, even in those like dark and hard moments where I wasn't sure if I'd ever be a mom, I still like had that faith. Um, I knew that God was putting us through this for a reason. I, I knew that IVF is what we're supposed to do. The day I found out we were supposed to do IVF, I like just like broke down immediately. And then I just prayed about it and I just felt such peace about it. Um, sorry, I had to check what he was doing. I just felt such peace about it and I feel like you can have both of those emotions. You can have doubt, like so much doubt, so much fear, so much despair, but I feel like you can also have hope at the same time. And I feel like you need that just to like get through this and um, I know like you've seen this, you just kind of see, I have an 18 month old and now from the looks of it, I'm pregnant again. Um, God willing, it, it works out. But we had a hard journey getting here. We had losses and we had difficulties. And um, I, just, I just pray to God like you know my heart. You know our wants and our desires. And I knew he wanted to fulfill those. Um, I wasn't sure if I would be a mom through IVF, through adoption, because that was definitely a possibility. Um, but this was the avenue that we wanted to go through first. And we got Lincoln and then possibly <laughs> another baby. So I did not even expect to go through all this. I'm so sorry. Um, it's just very emotional just looking back to where we are or where we were to where we are now and for anybody that's watching this that is still going through that struggle i get it i understand i know exactly how you feel the pain and I, I know all of it and i just want to give you hope Just keep trying, keep the faith that it will work for you um, in whatever avenue that you choose. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stop. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep testing. I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep filming each time. I may just test over the next few days. Unless something happens, I probably won't pull out the camera. Um, just cause I don't want this to be crazy long. But I will probably um, just kinda show you guys like a rundown of my um, like progression. Because I do know a lot of people are interested in like your pregnancy test line progressions. So, which is why I've kind of kept you coming along. So I'll probably uh, test, yeah, I'll test um, tomorrow, Thursday, and then Friday is our beta day. So probably Thursday night, I'll pull out the camera and just kind of show you guys where we're at. So yeah, we'll see you then.